Hello one and all, and thank you for finally joining me for some more D24 engine teardown. Apologies for this long time coming video. I've just been uh, really busy. I've been letting this engine soak for almost like six months now. I've tried to get it unstuck a couple times since then, but all the pistons are still way in there. So come along with me. I'm going to be making a tool to get some of these stubborn pistons out and telling you a little bit more about the state of the project. So here's my puller that I built. The bar there sits on the engine block and then it yanks on the connecting rod. So this project unfortunately fell way down my priority list for a couple of reasons. One, the car that I was eyeing to swap this engine into, I went to go buy it. It was seven hours away. Dude knew I was gonna buy it and he sold it right out from under me. Couldn't believe it. It was such like a dick move <laughs> that the guy's dad even gave us like a hundred dollars like hey I'm sorry that wasn't cool what my son pulled uh, but that's neither here nor there I could also eventually buy another vehicle if I needed to but also in the meantime I moved and this is the big one because I moved from somewhere with three garage spaces to somewhere with just two now once that happened I did a bit of a I guess soul searching is a little too dramatic, but uh, I did a bit of reprioritization and I thought to myself, I really don't want to have three cars in my small space and be shuffling them around. So I will keep my project car, in this case the Rabbit pickup, and my normal car, the Corolla. And this engine, well, I decided to build it anyway. It seems to be a, like a great thing that people like to actually watch my videos for. It seems to be where a lot of my subscribers came from. And incidentally, I just hit triple digits, so thank you everyone for your support. So I figured that this would be a good project. It is enjoyable, and it'll be a great way to grow the channel. So here we go. Here is my puller tool in action. And I know on a lot of these videos, I, um, I kind of know what I'm talking about, or at least I pretend to know what I'm talking about. But here, I was majorly flying by the seat of my pants and if you try to pull something like this pull anyway if you try to pull something like this slap together a tool with like your basic hand tools especially if it's something like a puller it's going to be under a lot of strain you better be wearing eye protection and maybe even a cup and um just to preempt this you deserve whatever happens to you this works out pretty well for me Great. You can see why this one was the most stuck. Pretty sure it was also absolutely filled with water. So it's gonna get a PB blaster bath while I work on the other one. Oh no, we need volume.
So our puller worked pretty well. We were able to loosen up two of our stuck cylinders. One of them just fell out, but cylinder number three is still good and stuck. So what I'm doing right now is I have the puller on the bottom side that's yanking on it, and then I'm going to soak the cylinder with penetrant, ATF, and hopefully that soak combined with all of the force from the puller on it, it'll just pop it out as it sits there. Time will only tell. Well, thank you very much for taking a look at this video. I hope, uh, if not informative, it was at least entertaining.